When I walked in the room, how much did you actually know about me? N not much. <laughs> so I was expecting that to be fair. Yeah, no, not much. I know the the bendit like Beckham, the goal against Greece, yep. the fact that he missed the penalty, and the Spice Girl, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's quite a lot. I'm Orlando from Save Our Squad. And I'm Kuro from Save Our Squad. And we're here, here to ask Davey Beckham, Beckham, Beckham some, some questions. questions. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, boys? Looking very smart. Thank you. Thank you. That looks like you got some questions for me. Yes. yes. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. <laughs> Why did you want to become a footballer? I loved playing football from a very young age. It was all I ever wanted to do. Obviously, I lived in East London, but I supported Manchester United. And it was my dream. <laughs> What's that look for? In your, in your Man City suit? <laughs> I support Arsenal, I support Arsenal. All right, all right. Well, I'm not sure what's worse, <laughs> Arsenal or City, come on. I'm going to ask you the same question. Why do you want to be a footballer? Well, I think I loved that sport. I think I was very good at it. My life just can't continue without football. I like that. That's a good answer, Kura. For me, football is just a game that like, you can fall in love with it so easily. Even like, as you know? an Arsenal fan? <laughs> <laughs> go on, How are man you on the table? All right, go on, go on. It's like just one of them games where you don't really have to have to watch it or know too much about it to, to really like enjoy the game. Good answer. What's it like to be famous? <laughs> What's it like to be famous? <laughs> I've been able to travel to so many places around the world and different countries. I've been able to play for different teams in different countries. But for me personally, I've met some unbelievable pe people. I've met Nelson Mandela, Michael Jordan, I've met Jack Nicholson, you know, all of these great people that you look up to and you that inspire you, I've been able to meet them. So that's one of the best things about being famous. When I walked in the room, how much did you actually know about me? N not much. <laughs> so I was expecting that to be fair. Yeah, no, not much. I know the, the bendit like Beckham, the goal against Greece. Yep. The fact that he missed the penalty and the Spice Girl, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's quite a lot. Missed penalty, I'm not sure what one you're talking about, but there was a couple. Spice Girl, obviously, yeah. 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 Goal against Greece, that was a big one. And then Bend It Like Beckham. There you go. Obviously. Great movie. Orlando, mm, you know yeah. too much about my career before we um, uh, started this? I know the Bend It Like Beckham, I know the Greece, I know the, the penalty miss. And I also know that you do the hairstyles like me. Yes, I, I know. It's hard to believe, right? I did what? that hairstyle. The braids. And I did the braids. Oh, what? <laughs> Come on. By the way, that was the day when I had braids, I met Nelson Mandela. That was my only regret, actually. I had braids when I met actually a great man like Nelson Mandela. You had braids? I had braids. <laughs> oh, no, no. Come on. Next question, next question. Next question, go on, move on quick. Who's your favourite player when you were our age? And who's your favourite player now? My favourite player when I was your age was a player called Brian Robson. So Brian Robson, he used to play for Manchester United, he used to play for England, he was captain for Man United and England. He was my favourite player and I wanted to emulate everything that he did in his career in mine and luckily I did. I wore number seven for United, I wore number seven for England and Captain England. Nowadays, oh my goodness, it's hard to actually pick uh, a favourite player of mine these days. I like Mbappe, I think he's an exciting player. He's a player that obviously has already won the World Cup and done so much in his career but I think he's got so much left. You tell me, who who is your favourite player in the game now? Apart from me, obviously. No, no, no. <laughs> Apart from me, who's no, your favourite player? I hate to player? admit it, because you're here. Because it's a Manchester United player. It's Anthony. Nice. I love okay. watching him play. And what do you like about him? The flair that he has. And like, he's oh, you so... see his little thing that he did the other day? He's like, I bet you love that, didn't you? Even though he kicked out. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apart from me, um, who's your present favourite player as well? Well, from the past, it would be Ronaldinho because yeah, his, his skills like, and his passion is just too good. And if we're talking now, it will probably be Gabriel Jesus. Like I just love his aggression. He's a good goal scorer actually. Mm. I think he's the player that's come in and changed Arsenal as a team. Mm. 
Do you know Messi and Ronaldo? Well, I've played against Ronaldo once for England. We were playing Portugal in Portugal, and I've met him a bunch of times, obviously being at Real Madrid at Manchester United as well. Messi, again, I've met quite a few times, played against him for Real Madrid, and he was unbelievable as a, as a player. I think they, they are the best players in the world, and they have been for a long time. What was the proudest moment of your career? Luckily, I had a long career. You know, I had a career that went on for 22 years professionally. Obviously, I started at Manchester United when I was 14 years old, and I finished playing at Paris when I was uh, 38 years old. I think, you know, winning the treble for Manchester United, where we won the Premier League, the FA Cup, and the Champions League all in one season in 1999. That was a big moment, but my proudest moment has to be being given the captain's armband for England. That for me, you know, representing my country was the most important thing that happened to me in my career, and being made captain was the proudest. What was the toughest moment of your, of your career? I think I've had a couple of tough moments, obviously missing a penalty, which everyone seems to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a bad injury. Uh, when I was playing for AC Milan, I ruptured my Achilles and I got told by the surgeon that I might not be able to play again. So that was a tough moment. But the toughest moment was when I got a red card in the World Cup against Argentina. I know you obviously both mm -hmm. remember that one. Um, so yeah, that probably was the most difficult moment because, you know, people were doubting me as a player, as a professional, you know, and uh, I kind of, uh, went through a difficult time on and off the pitch, but I was at Manchester United at the time and I had a great manager, Sir Alex Ferguson, that uh, supported me, a great uh, team, great teammates, and more importantly, the fans at Manchester United got me through the difficult moments, so. We're from East London like you. Um, what's your favorite thing about East London? Pie mash, have you boys had pie mash? Pie mash and liquor, don't tell mm. me. You're from East London. <laughs> oh. Pie mash and liquor. I'm, I'm 13. 13. Yeah. <laughs> liquor, not uh, liquor, not, uh, not as in alcohol. <laughs> liquor, liquor's like a gravy, like a green oh. gravy. Oh. Okay, so nah. no. I'm gonna take you boys for pie mash at some point in my favourite pie mash shop, right? And it's obviously mashed potato. It's a mince pie, and then the liquor is stewed eels and parsley. Fancy that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So pie and mash is my favourite thing about East London. What's your favourite thing about East London? The community. I think East London has one of the most diverse communities like in the world, and it has a very good like economy here as well. We're quite stable in East London. So yeah, the community and the economy. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. <laughs> East London's the best, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. Why is it that grassroots football is so important? You guys know, you know, because it's a community. You know, I was obviously part of the Echo League when I was when I was young, and I was exactly like you boys are. It's a real community, grassroots football. It's so important, and I think what we've, we've done with the show, it really highlights how important it is. So grassroots is one of the most important things in the game in our country, especially in our country. What is the best advice that you've had in your career? My dad always told me to believe in myself, be humble, and be hardworking and that was the best advice. I know you're only young, you boys. What's the best advice you've been given so far? Don't let anything get in your way from stopping you to get what you want. I like that. It was probably by you and Edwin, where you said make an impact, because that didn't only affect me in football, it affected me in life, because I realised if you make an impact on someone or something, that's how you really like gain traction. And that's also what like made me get into the Westwood Star in 11 as well. So I have to say thank you. I mean. <laughs> It's been a privilege working on this and being on this journey with you boys. You're amazing, both of you, and all the team. I want to thank you very much. Good questions, and you're looking very smart. Thank, thank you. you. That's what I was the final against Barcelona and Wembley. I should have changed at half time and put Jesus and Park and Messi. That was a mistake. If I had played Jesus and Park against Messi, I think we'd have beaten him. How do we do?